In the last video, I showed you how to lock down the data in a column with a policy tag. When you do this, only users who have the role of fine grain reader will be able to query the data in that column. And for everyone else, it throws an error. However, you don't always want it to throw an error for everyone else. Instead, you might want to return null values or hash the data in some way. And that'll allow someone to aggregate it or make sure that there aren't certain types of data quality problems without just throwing a blanket error. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that by adding a masking rule to your data policy tags. For this example, we are going to go back to the user data table and we're going to take a look at this email column. What I want to do is apply a policy tag so that when a user queries the email column, it will return a hashed email address. So to do that, the first thing you have to do is navigate back to policy tags. In the last video, I created this example policy tag, but example was in the US region and my data is in US East 1. So I actually had to copy it into another policy tag called example US East 1. These are the tags that we're going to use to apply to our email column. So when I click in here, you can see at the bottom, I am shown the highly sensitive policy tag, which is generic and can be applied to lots of types of data, and the email tag, which is the one that we want to use. What you do is check the checkbox and then select manage data policies. Now I've got the ability to add a masking rule. When you click add rule, you'll need to give this data policy a name. I'm going to call it hashed email. And then you choose how you would like the data to be masked. There is automatically built into BigQuery an email mask option, which is what we're going to use. But you could also choose to return the first or last four characters, you could use SHA-256, or you can have everything return null. I'll select Email Mask and Submit. Now I'm going to navigate back to the table where I'd like to apply, apply this policy tag. Just like we did before, I'm going to click Edit Schema, and I'm going to choose the columns that I'd like to apply, and then click Add Policy Tag. Now I can only see the taxonomy that was created in the region where my data is stored, US East 1. I cannot see the example taxonomy. Under here, I've got highly sensitive and email as my two options. So I'm going to choose email, select that, and save. OK, so to test this, we're going to go back to the IAM window. And I'm going to confirm that consultants at kin-williams.com only has BigQuery data editor and BigQuery user roles. So I've removed the fine-grained access role that I had granted in the prior video. So when I navigate over to the data engineers window, I can go to the table. I can already see there is a hidden policy tag on the email field. When I go to query this field, I will see a access denied error. This error is telling me I don't have fine grain reader access, which would show me everything, but I also don't have masked reader access to show the masked data. To solve this, I actually have to grant this access in two places. So first of all, at the project level, I'm going to add a role to consultants kin.williams for masked reader and save that. Now, that is still not going to be enough. Still have an access denied message. The other thing I have to do is go back into BigQuery and use policy tags to say which columns am I allowed to see the masked data for. So I'm going to go back to the policy tags. I'm going to check the box next to email. And then I'm going to go manage data policies. And the final field is the list of principals who are allowed to read the masked data where this policy tag has been applied. 
So I'm going to add consultants at kin-williams.com here as well. Now when I submit that, my data engineer has been given access to the specific policy tag as well as at the project level as a masked reader. So run the query one last time. And now instead of seeing an error, we do see results. The built-in email masking functionality in BigQuery will replace the first part before the at symbol of an email address with five X's. So now I can see that an email address exists and I can see that it was at hotmail.com, but I cannot see the user's email. So the actual personally identifiable element of it has been removed from this consultant. When you're using policy tags to restrict access to data in a specific column, you've got three options. You can allow someone full access to the data. You can completely lock it down with a policy tag. And then you can have this black and white rule that says you can either view this data with fine grain reader access, or you cannot view it at all and trying to will throw an error. Or the third option is to use the masked reader access, which allows someone to have this middle ground. They can't see the full data, but they also don't see an error whenever they try and query it. Instead, they return some kind of hashed value. In the next video, we're going to imagine that you don't necessarily care about blocking out data in a certain column, but there are rows that are sensitive or that you don't want to see a specific user to see. And I'll explain how you can filter the data that a user can see to exclude rows with sensitive data.